एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द केच कल्चर एंड द पेन कल्चर एंड द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द केच कल्चर केच कल्चर वॉज फर्स्ट ओरिजिनेटेड इन कम्पोचियो और वी कैन से दैट कैन बी कम्बोडिया सो both are same if there will be question kampuchia we can write kampuchia or cambodia both are same so uh, first it was initiated in cambodia later on in japan it started cage culture can be many type of like floating we can see in the image submersible or submerged cages so these are the types of the cages and the first attempt of cage culture was first practiced in air breathing fishes cage culture and pen culture are so common for the farmers because they are type of integrated farming and it is easy to manage and low cost so farmers mainly choose these type of farming and it is easy to access that's why we can do cage culture anywhere cage culture means that uh, they are uh, surrounding by the cages and the they are uh, like closed from all side but they are open from the above side means the top can be open or can be closed for the free feeding purpose it is open so we can feed the fishes we can take care of the uh, like if we are growing juvenile or fry to fingerling or fingerling uh, to juvenile can be anything and we can take care of them so that it is easy to manage the cages so these are the cage culture and a uh, first attempt of cage culture was practiced in air breathing fishes sea cage culture in india initiated in 2007 with culture of asian sea bass in cages so this is how in india started the cage culture and in pen culture we can say that pen culture started first in japan and the fishes was first introduced was milk fish first farming uh, was done in philippines in uh, like milk uh, fishes first uh, it has started and if we talk about the production production will be 250 kg per hectare per year and uh, these are uh, of two types can be floating or can be monofilament can be bamboo type or can be monofilament type of pens and pens are actually uh, like it is bounded by bamboo screens and it is uh, in the bottom of the sea means like the round portion will touch with the bottom and it is uh, open from the bottom and if with the help of uh, ba- bamboo is actually on the bottom surface only so these are the pen culture pen culture was uh, started first in milk fishes and later it spread to china so uh, we can say that since they are is managed farmer mainly prefer these type of Uh, culture program so these are intensive method and if we talk about more convenient practice or uh, in cages or in pens then we can say that more convenient is cages than in pens they are intensive method both are intensive but more conveniently practices the cage culture uh, in pens we can say that pens mainly occur where watershed area so margin of the watershed are fenced in and then we can uh, form a cl- enclosures and we can do cage the pen culture if we talk about what are watershed then we can say that watershed are some area like wherever there is land surface uh, there is run off they uh, shed into water body any water body will be there and they shed into that uh, means the uh, what whatever is there what uh, run off they ultimately it will get into the water like in the image we can say that there are tributaries there are lake river and they all fall into the riparian zone and from the land surface also a watershed boundary is there and from that the water whatever there is run off they uh, comes under the whatever there is water body there will be they uh, fall into it so this is said to be a watershed area and in this image uh, there is a image showing that uh, of pen culture and there is a boundary created or barrier created with sliding screen in the sea 
and this boundary helps in the pen culture program so these are enclosures are mainly restricted to the sheltered area or sheltered region if we talk about the differences between the cage culture and the pen culture cage culture are more adaptable they can be fixed or can be floating if we talk about for the depth of the fixed cages they can be 1 to 2 meter for fixed cages and for floating it can be 5 meter in reservoir 3 meter in wetland and 2 meter in canals uh, and for the pen culture pen culture are those sites which are in the margin of the watershed and sites of pen can be 1.2 meter water depth and growing period can be 4 to 6 months and uh, the more recent mooring system that is new device introduced in open sea is dynama these are important points to remember and uh, in depth for freshwater fishes in cage culture there will be 0.9 to 1.6 meter and same in the uh, paint culture there is difference in the thing there is some difference like depth can be 1.2 meter and fabric uh, is the main difference between the both of them like in fabric for rearing spawn to fry in paint culture is 40 meshes per centimeter and for rearing fry to fingerling can be 12 to 15 meter and uh, the rearing cages uh, can be 1 to 2 mm diameter and for rearing uh, and the standardized C cage structure for introducing dynama is 6 meter and 5 meter depth so these are the difference like uh, in cage culture des desirable mesh size for fr uh, fry is 1 to 2 mm and finger link from fish to fry is 10 to 25 mm size so these are difference the, like uh, the difference of mesh size between the two culture program and uh, the difference we have discussed already and the depth also uh, there is to be considered during the cage culture and the pen culture the major disadvantage between them are sometimes cages are cut by crabs if we are doing the crab farming or it can be some uh, there is a uh, fouling occurs due to uh, some organism and in some cases what happens is accumulation of waste occur due to pollution also or overcrowding there are some disadvantage in cage culture and pen culture that usually uh, occur so we, ne we need is to regular cleaning of the cage or the pen culture if we are doing that and the maintenance should be stocking density should be maintained in the cage culture and the pen culture because it can lead to serious pro problems and the mesh size should be considered because uh, in many cases due to difference in mesh uh, size many times fishes uh, go outside the uh, enclosure so this should be considered so this this was all for today thanks for watching and if you like this channel then please do like and subscribe and if you want to uh, add something more in these uh, videos then you can directly comment me on the comment section we can improve uh, our videos and we can improve our lectures also thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video we will be talking about bioflocks too thanks for watching